So here's what's going to be on my mind for the rest of today. I'm trying, like a lot of people, to understand the nature of the shocking unrest in London. You've seen the pictures. Well, I'm thinking about my good buddy Rupert Allman. His face is on my mind this morning. He just got back from London. London is his city, his city in flames the past few days. He's got this job in New York, so he's back here. He's managing editor of this program. So I wanted to ask him, someone who I work with every single day, what it felt like to be in London. You know, that's the catch-all question of journalists, right? How do you feel? It means there's a question in there somewhere, a real question, but it's like you're missing some sort of detail. It's the wrong question, but maybe you can stumble on the right question during the course of the conversation. Well, on the air, Rupert talked about his experience with the serious racially motivated riots and economically sparked unrest in London back in the 1980s. He contrasted it with now, where so many rioting voices, and we heard them on the air this morning, are just saying they're smashing store windows and ripping off TVs simply because they can. He mentioned that his sense of being a Brit, and this is something he carried very close, was that he's lucky to be born in the UK. He feels lucky to be born in the UK, lucky to be a Brit, lucky for all the possibilities. But he talked generally that people stuck in the economic basement over the past 20 years, their concerns haven't really been addressed by government. So there's a divide in the society. So I asked Rupert, when you walk around your city, then do you feel around you there are plenty of people who absolutely don't feel lucky to be Brits or or that you're constantly brushing up against folks on the tube or something who have no stake in your country? And he paused right on the air and, and his eyes narrowed and he said, no. Well, I guess there's the shock then, I said to him. And he said, yeah, there is the shock. Rupert agreed. I mean, what a detail. And that's what he gave us on the air this morning, this invisible separation between people living side by side. There are the folks who think they are lucky, who have a stake in the city, the community, the neighborhood. And then there are the folks who don't. Now, when push comes to shove, you suddenly find out who's who. But by then, it's way too late. That's what I'm going to be thinking about for the rest of today. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow.